HubSpot has a feature that allows you to email directly from a contact record in HubSpot. This automatically saves the email to the contact record itself. Before sending an email, you must first connect your email account to your HubSpot instance. Navigate to settings by using the gear icon in the top right section of your instance. Next, you're going to want to scroll down on the left panel until you reach integrations. From here, choose email integrations from the dropdown. Next, to get started, click connect personal email. This will take you to a page where you enter your Gmail or Office 365 information. Once you've connected your email account, it's recommended that you install the extension for your email provider. That way, when you send an email out of your regular email address, it's still logged to HubSpot in the associated contact record. If you prefer not to use an extension, click on the next tab, Log and Track. This gives you the option to log your emails without extensions from your personal account. To log outgoing emails into your CRM, BCC this email address when you send an email. Emails BCC'd to this address will be attached to any matching contacts. If no contact is found, a new one will be created. To log incoming emails into the CRM, forward them to this email address. Emails forwarded to this address will be attached to any matching contacts, and again, if no contact is found, a new one will be created. There is also a section here to enter email addresses that you don't ever want logged into HubSpot. And this last tab is configurations. This is where you go to configure how you want your emails to look. Let's go send an email. I'm going to navigate to contacts, and from a contact record, there are two ways to send an email. The first is this email shortcut icon, just directly underneath the contact's name, or in the center panel, the emails tab. From here, click Create Email. Across the top of the email, you will see a toolbar. The first tool is Templates. All email templates will pop up and select the desired template from the dropdown. Next is Sequences. If you have HubSpot Professional or Enterprise, you can schedule a series of personalized emails, calls, and tasks for your prospects, so you never forget to follow up. The next tool is Documents. This will allow you to attach any documents that you have access to in HubSpot. Here we have Meetings. This fantastic tool allows you to add a link to your email where a recipient can use to immediately book time on your calendar. This saves the time it takes to email back and forth trying to schedule a call or meeting. And last on this toolbar is Quotes. This allows you to send potential customers quotes directly from HubSpot. Further down in the email, you have your basic to and from, CC and BC, and subject. We also have the text body and another toolbar across the bottom. Here you can manage your font, paragraph, insert a link, insert an image, attach a file. There's also these options here where you can insert a knowledge base article, a snippet, a video, and a signature. And just to the right, these are the options where you can connect this email to both Jennifer and the company that she works for. The last tool on emails is create a task to follow up. When you click the link below, choose from the dropdown what date you would like to follow up. Also, you have the option to send later. When you select that, it gives you an option to send in one hour, two hours, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, or a custom time, and you could schedule it, or you can send now. Once you've sent an email, navigate back to Activity, and you will see the email listed here. HubSpot's emailing tool is chock full of features that are meant to automate your process, provide great data in the system, and make it easy for a user to enter in as much information as possible for transparency of clients throughout the system.